Well, howdy, partner. Oh, well, what was that line? What was that? What are you saying? You say you were expecting the leader of VSWville? VSW? Well, I'm sorry, lads, but I am afraid that the VSW will not be able to make a video for you today. I will be making the video today instead. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Mr. Yeehaw, the Hillbilly Cowboy. Or you can just call me the Hillbilly. Whatever you want to call me, it's fine by me. Now, even though VSW will not be joining us today, he has requested for me to talk about these superstars behind me. And even though I told him that I am not a professional wrestling fan, I am not, I am not, I am not! However, he has requested that I name these superstars behind me anyway. So, for VSW and all of you professional wrestling fans out there, let's go on ahead and get to it. Let's start with this Irish guy right there. Who is that guy? I can't see his name. I can't see his name. Oh, yeah. That's the Irish guy named Seamus, who VSW told me became WWE champion. What? What on earth is an Irishman doing wrestling in the USA for the WWE? Well, uh, get out of here, got the warrior, and don't go behind back to Irish. Anywho, next superstar, we got this goat face dude. Who is he? Is he a real life human goat? A real life sheep? Oh, no. VSW told me that he is your Daniel Bryan. Well, he is a goat face. He looks like a goat to me because look at his long beard. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That is a real goat. That is a goat. That is a goat. Anyway, what's the next guy? Oh, yeah. He was one of the three members of the Shield who is saying to be one of the greatest tag teams in WWE history, along with Seth Frickin' Rollins and Dean Ambrose. And he defeated Triple H to win the WWE World Championship at the WrestleMania, and he will face The Undertaker in this year's WrestleMania, where he will rest and peace. What's the fourth guy? The one in the green. What the you can't see me? Oh uh, yeah, that is the leader of the C Nation. Hustle, loyalty, and respect. The never give up, John Cena. John Cena. BSW told me that he has hosted Saturday Night Live, and he told me that it sucked. And I have watched it too. And you know what? With that episode, John Cena co-hosting that show, co-hosting. He was hosting that show. Hosting that show. It's fact. He did a much better job hosting the Kid Choice Nickelodeon Awards. I would rather watch that again than that Saturday Night Live episode again. It sucked. Anywho, the next guy looks like a snake. First, we got an Irishman. Then we got a goat face, and now we got a freaking snake! A snake! What is a snake doing in the WWE? What? Oh, VSW told me before I made this video that the Randy Orton is not a real snake. He is, that's just his nickname, the Apex Predator. He is really human. He is not really a snake. That is just his nickname, the Apex Predator. Whatever, I will bite that Apex Predator's head off and eat it for dinner. And then I will wear his backside as an earring. No, I want to wear it as a necklace. Yes. And we got yet another animal. 
How many animals, lads, are wrestling for the WWE? How many animals? How many animals are there? Oh, yeah. That is uh, Batista. You can't see these characters' names because they are so small. And no, I am not going up to give y'all a better view of the names. But y'all should know who they are because I don't. Mr. Yeehaw, the hillbilly cowboy, does not know who these guys are. BSW just told me. But that is Batista. I heard he is not currently wrestling for the WWE no more. He is currently out making movies, like the sequel to the Guardians of the Galaxy, the second volume. Hmm. Heard that the first volume was good, so the second volume must be good too. BSW haven't seen it. I haven't seen it, so I just might see it in the future. I just might. But I ain't making no promises. No promises. No, 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 no. Mr. Yeehaw, the hillbilly cowboy, makes no promises. Because like they say, you do not make promises that you cannot keep. And last but not least, I know who this guy is. I'm not the professional wrestling fan, but I know this guy's character, The Under. Take the third man. Speaking of the third man, VSW told me that he is mostly known for his undefeated WrestleMania streak at the WrestleMania. Not these that Triple H, not the Randy Orton, not the, the Big Show, not the, the Shawn Michaels, not even the Ritter Flair could defeat him. But there was one guy. Just one guy that the VSW told me was finally able to defeat the Undertaker at WrestleMania and to end his undefeated streak. Now I wonder, who was that guy? Excuse me for one minute, lads, while I try to find out who this guy is. Excuse me for just a few seconds. I will be right back with y'all, okay? Who was that guy? Who was that guy? Who was that guy? No. No. You cannot be serious. WWE, you cannot be the serious! VSW, you better be lying to me. You better be lying to me, then, to me. This guy was not. The one who defeated The Undertaker at WrestleMania and ended his undefeated streak. You better be lying to me, VSW. Who is the star? Hmm. I wonder, do I give a darn about the match? No, I do not. Because like I just told you from the very beginning, Mr. Yeehaw, the mad Hilly Billy Cowboy, is not a professional wrestling fan. Ah, ah, not. So, it has been nice knowing all of you. Once again, my name is Mr. Yeehaw, the Hillbilly Cowboy. And I am here to stay. Now, next week, next Sunday, BSW wants me to come back to talk about another guy that goes by the name of Stone Cold Steve Austin, who he says is his absolute favorite. WWE Superstar of all time, six time WWE Champion, three time Warrior Rumble winner, Hall of Famer, legend, what? Well, fine. For VSW and for all of you, I will talk about Stone Cold Steve Austin next Sunday on this new series that I would like to call Ride. With Mr. Yee Ha. Until next Sunday, I say I am here to stay.
And because of Brock Lesnar, I am mad. Yeah. Ah. Howdy.